Oh, 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 oh. oh looky here. A very, very late strawberry. Mm-hmm. I think that will be had right now. Oh. Mm. Mm. Outstanding. Yes. Ooh, and look, there's another one. Wow. See, even late October. And another one. There is still yummies to be had. So the sun is going down now, so it's time to prepare some uh, warmth. What I've got, what I'm preparing here, is what I'm going to call the Finnish fire torch. It's a bit similar to the Swedish fire torch, but it's got a little bit more finesse and subtlety, and a little bit less chainsaws and brute force. And so my Finnish friends might be amused by that. So what we've done here basically is taken uh, a piece of log, cut it into some equally long segments with a saw, so that the tops are flat and later on that will make our cooking surface. Now we've put in the middle here a bunch of uh, smaller sticks and I've got some natural binding material here, a root. Here we go, a root. And all the way out here, same root. That's going to be below where the fire is going to start so that we can uh, get this into a nice chimney. So I'm going to tie it up now and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so let's look at our ingredients here. We have because we love our forest and we don't want to start a root fire, we're going to make a small pedestal fire. So for that I've got some nice rocks. I've got a bag of very wet clay, which I'm going to smear all over the rocks. And then we're going to get going with our Finnish fire torch here. So as you see I've bound these logs together. These little pieces of wood, that will give me a nice platform in a bit. The inside is all stuffed with small wood, I'll be putting some more small wood in there. That's going to go on top of the pedestal. And I'm going to put loads of uh, kindling in there, and then we're going to light her up. And have a nice safe fire. The wood will, doesn't matter if it's a bit wet on the outside, it will dry. And then eventually those will be the base logs for my warming fire, which I will need later on, because it's going to look pretty cold. Okay, got a bit of a reflector here in this tree. Again, loving the fire, we're going to put the fire on this nice pedestal here. So I'm going to get going with that and show you what that looks like. So here you have the whole fire set up now. Let's have a look. First layer is rocks. Rocks to form the bottom of the pedestal. Then our mud that we picked up earlier. Then a layer of hardwood logs. These are pretty wet and the idea is that they dry out gradually as the fire becomes closer to them and they serve us as a really good fuel bed. Now we've been very lucky in that we've had here a full length log of completely dry rotten wood which we're going to use in mean, its down to powder here which is just a miracle, so we're going to use that to start our fire. You see here in the top of my Finnish log fire torch here, got all sorts of this dry wood in there, so as soon as I light up that tinder inside I will add some more to that. Then I've got my additional wood over here, so a big log, some of my food, I'm going to make me some uh, stew, and I've got some mix for making some uh, stick bread, which I just adore. And then over here, you know, the rest of the things, the backpack, a nice backrest. Here, uh, my reindeer sit upon, which is just the best thing. And look at this completely warm, cozy, smooth, furry, mossy rock to lean against. Properly protected from the trail. Nobody can see me here, but I'm really close to being able to get out if I need to. And then later on, I've got my perfect hammock setups here probably go between this tree and uh, that one over there, but I don't want to do that until I'm absolutely certain that everybody's out of the forest here. So the sun is going down, it's not fully gone down yet, but it's certainly you can start feeling that it's cooler. And um, I've got a few 
job still to do, so I'm going to uh, add a bit more firewood. And then I'm going to uh, probably just sit down, put a warm coat on, and put my warm socks on, and just kind of enjoy the evening a little bit. And then we'll see you later about how that fire turned out. So there's some righteous snacks for you, some lentil stew. I've got some uh, pre-mixed uh, stuff that I just need to add water to to make some bread stick. Or rather stick bread batter. I have some hot chocolate. I have some porridge and muesli for the morning. I have some dried reindeer meat. I have some water. I have a snowfield back there so for some more water. And I have some coffee. The only thing I don't have is a spoon. So I shall have to go and make myself one of those now. So, here's the spoon. I don't think I'll uh, get any design awards for it, but it'll do fine for transporting the soup to my mouth, the stew. So it's uh, starting to get a bit cold now. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, about just above zero. Got me some extra snow, and some will go down in about quarter of an hour or so. Uh, hopefully the last people will now have been and gone. i get my fire going. i got my warm socks on. These are actually uh, liners for, for mountain boots. But, you know, warm feet. When have you ever slept comfortably with cold feet? Well, me, I've never. So, warm socks all the way. Well, that seems to work quite well. Finish fire torch. Cooking my lentil soup. How about that? Very nice. There are the bindings. Inside is full of different kinds of woods. There's a the little pedestal for my can. And it's all relatively stealthy as well. Very cool. Better stir, or else it will all get burnt. <laughs>